Okay, so let's look at some separable phrasal verbs. So remember, we can put a object or an object or a pronoun in between the phrasal verb to make it separable. So bring up to to take something and to let it grow like a child to bring the child up bring James up from childhood to adulthood bring them up through the years to grow to have a child and let him bring up to carry out you have some rules some instructions carry the orders out for him carry out his orders carry carry the rules out carry the instructions out carry your commands out your commands you've been told to do something so do it carry say your orders very good clean it is a mess is a mess clean it up clean clean it up Clean that up. Some nice pronouns. Clean that up. Clean that up. Clean it up. Why didn't you clean it up? Makes sense. Do up. To make something nice and presentable. This, this room needs doing up. It needs to be cleaned, decorated, polished, painted, hoovered. We will do up the room. I will do that up first, and then we need to work on this. Do the wall up. Do the wall up first. Do the wall up first, and then the ceiling. Makes sense. Fill in. So you got a questionnaire, or fill out. You've got a questionnaire. Name. Date of birth. City anything like that occupation you gotta fill it in a Adrian England teacher and beyond fill fill the the paper in the document the document fill the document in fill the document in Fill the document as soon as you get it. Yeah, no, no, you still say that. Fill the document in as soon as you get it. You wouldn't say, fill the document as soon as you get it in. Only the pronoun or the object goes between the phrasal verb. Fill the document in. It makes sense. Fill the document out. Still makes sense. Fill it out. I'm going to fill the questions in. Makes sense. And fill up. We have a car, it needs filling up. I've got a massive tank, there's no water in it. Or a tank in a car, it needs fuel, it needs petrol or diesel. Fill it up. The, the aqua, well, um, uh, the water tank needs water in it, the reservoir needs water in it. We will fill it up with water. Fill it. Fill it up with water. We will fill it up with petrol. I'm going, I'm going to fill the car up with diesel. Fill the car up with diesel. I'm going to fill the water tank with water. Makes sense. Fill the jug with water. Fill the jug up the jug object fill the jug up with water makes sense and get back I had something and it went away and I'm going to get it back it's gone get it back I'm going to get the pen back get the pen back get it back get it back. We are going to get it back here. We're going to get it back in my control. I'm going to get it back from the museum, from the shop. Makes sense. Give up. Give up. To stop doing something, we need to give 
give up, give that habit, that habit up. Give that habit up. Stop doing that horrible habit, unhygienic habit, that ugly habit. Stop doing it. Give it up. No more. Yeah. That works. Hand out. You've got something and you're going to give it to people. Hand the questions out. Questions. Hand the questions out. Hand the documents out. Hand these out. Nice pronoun there. Hand the papers out. Hand the papers out. Hand the pens out. I've got pens. Hand them out. Handing out the pens. Hand the pens out. Makes sense. Very good. And let out. To let something out of something. Let the cat, let the cat out the house. Let it go outside. Let it, let it go outside. Let it go out. Let us go out the room. When can I be let out? Let, let out from the house. Makes sense. How cool is that? Yeah. Yeah. How cool is that? Yeah. So bring up, carry out, clean up, do up. Fill out, fill in, fill up, get back, give up, hand out, and let out. How cool is that? Let's keep going.